Hi YouTube, BB here and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got some anime news for you. To start off this week's anime news, I've got some sad news unfortunately. Pokemon Company designer Eric Medell was killed in a windstorm last week. He was sitting in his car with his young daughter when the windstorm hit and a tree fell on top of his car, killing him instantly and injuring his daughter. Eric was most well known for working on the Pokemon games from HeartGold and SoulSilver all the way through to Oras. He is also the designer for the English logo of X and Y and Black and White. He died at age 42. My heart goes out to the family and it is so sad that he died at such a young age. On to something a little bit more happy, Skip Beats is getting a Indiegogo campaign to try and crowdfund $210,000 to get a Blu-ray and DVD edition for a North American release with a dub. As of this recording, which is the 19th of March, it doesn't look like that there are any backers. So I don't think that this is going to go through. Sandersat has nine days to go. But on the flip side, Escaflone is also getting crowdfunded, but this is on Kickstarter. They want to get a new HD edition of the anime and they want 150000 This has already been broken by quite a lot of money. Almost $230,000 has been put into this campaign. So there's 11 days to go. It looks like that this is going to go through. So this will be exciting to see the new edition of Escafone. I don't know if I'm saying that right. If I'm not, leave a comment and let me know uh, if I am saying it right or wrong. Escaflone, Escaflone. Not sure. Gintama's manga and anime are ending this year. The manga might go through till 2017 and as it stands they have 63 volumes. The manga has been going for quite a while, for 12 years, and the anime is celebrating its 10th anniversary. So it will be sad to see such an iconic anime and manga end. Digimon Adventure Try Part 2 released online as of the 11th of March this year. And the third film is set to have a Japanese release throughout the theatres as of the 24th of September. Lastly, 2016 seems to be the year for live action news, with Black Butler getting a 2017 live action movie, and Higurashi When They Cry will be getting a live action series. This will be airing on Japanese television as of May 2016. I'm really wondering if this series is going to be as creepy as the anime or as creepy as the visual novel. I hope so, it will be interesting to watch. And that's all the anime news I have for you. I'm sorry that there isn't more, but I'll be back next week with episode 5 of anime news. If you're enjoying this segment, please make sure to give it a like, it lets me know that you're enjoying it, and it also helps out my channel a lot. Also, if you're new here, hello! And please go and have a look at the rest of my channel. I do weekly anime recommendations and I have plenty of anime content on there. I have 50 videos up at the moment, so I'm sure you'll find something interesting to watch. If you want to contact me, I'm on social media. I've got a Twitter and a Facebook. I'm always happy to chat to people, so flick me a line. Make sure to follow me and like me on there. If you like what I do and you want to see more of me, please make sure to go and subscribe for a wide range of anime content. From Moe to Mika, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!